What's up folks, from Adidas to Jordan to Puma to Nike basketball, this weekend has a lot of love when it comes to kicks. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is the Heat Check. Now, technically, I should start this show talking about the Adidas Ultra Boost Metallic Pack that released yesterday, but those are basically all gone. On the bright side, Finish Line does have a few NMDs releasing today, which you can pick up. There are like five pairs dropping for the men, and then there's three pairs dropping exclusively for women. To be honest, this red pair looks the nicest to me with that black pair coming in, I would say a close second. Uh, these are probably gonna go fast, so I would get on it if you're gonna grab a pair. Those will cost you $120. And keeping with Adidas Originals, the brand is dropping a new version of the NMD, the XR1. Like the regular NMD, these are dropping in a ton of colors from berry to glitch camo to gray and more. Like the NMDs, these are both dropping for men and women with the men's pairs costing $140 and the women's pairs costing $130. On the Strictly for the Ladies side of things, Puma is back with three colorways of the Fierce Bright, which is the shoe with Kylie Jenner. And Bright is actually a great name for these three models as they arrive in triple white, pink glow, and safety yellow. For you Kylie Jenner fans out there, you probably know about these already, and you can grab these over at Finish Line for $100. If you'd rather have Flyknit on your feet, Nike is dropping an ode to 2012 on the Flyknit Racer. A perfect fit for the Olympics since 2012. Those will cost you $150 for that mix of Volt and Black. Keeping Black in mind, the LeBron 13 Low is set to arrive on Friday as well in the Birds of Paradise colorway. The colorful upper on the black base is a nice addition to the LeBron line and you can grab those for $160. But wait, LeBron isn't the only one getting love as KD has his own version of the Birds of Paradise theme on the KD9. While the LeBron Low is dominated by black, the KD9 opts for that clear jade on the forefoot making for some great contrast. You can look for those that cost you $150. Saturday keeps the basketball theme going with a special version of the Nike Hyperdunk 2016 low. This model was inspired by the 1996 U.S. women's basketball team and will cost you $130 for that red upper. On the retro side, the ladies will be getting their own Air Jordan 5. This one is dressed in a wolf gray upper. This isn't your typical pink and shrink it style. It gives the ladies a little something extra. I like it. Those will cost you $140 over at finish line. And since we're talking about the Air Jordan 5, we might as well show the men's version some love as well. Dressed in white leather, this model really pops at the tongue due to the metallic gold accents that highlight the sneaker. Uh, this is contrasted by the black jump man and these will definitely get you noticed. You can grab those for $190 on Saturday as well. And on the new sneaker sort of basketball tip, Under Armour is waiting till Monday to drop the Met Gold colorway of the Curry 2.5. Despite the gold in the name, the upper almost has a bit of a camo effect to it. You can look to grab those over at finish line for $135 when they drop on the 22nd. Yo, ladies got mad love this week and Adidas and Jordan kicked it up a notch. Be sure to check below for more info on any of the kicks that I talked about today. Got some links down there for you. Feel free to like and hit that thumbs up button. It definitely helps us out. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 